All right, so the demonic toys are supposed to be out now for Puppet Master the game. I haven't had time, honestly, Wolfies, to check it out myself just yet. But I have some thoughts about this. I think it's great for the game to actually have the demonic toys in it. Mr. Static, Baby Oopsie, Jack Attack. You know, if you're a fan of horror films and full moon features, these are very iconic characters that have already faced off with the puppets before in Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. I think it's great to have the update. I think it's great to have new content, but there's a bigger problem here. There's nobody playing Puppet Master the game. I'm just going on Twitch to show you. Puppet Master of the game, there's only 492 people following. There's three viewers right now. There's this guy. This guy, I'm not sure if he works for October Games or not. He streams this game every day. He streams this game and makes lobbies, and it's usually only about three people always in this lobby. The problem with Puppet Master of the game is they decide that they're going to make this game as a, as you can read here, free-to-play online multiplayer game that celebrates the series' 30-year legacy. Which is great and all, but because they don't have a player base, you can't get a lobby. And because you can't get a lobby, you can't play the game. You can only play the single player mode, which is just playing like two launch journals. And you can't play like the offline or the multiplayer modes with bots because they didn't make bots outside of like the AI bot for thief mode. But you can't play like puppet versus totems with bots versus bots that way. And you can't do a couple of other things that you would with bots. Which means how are you supposed to play a game that's online multiplayer when there's not a player base? They're selling $22, and that's not including some of the Earth DLC here, for cosmetics in the game, right? It doesn't look like the Demonic Toys update is actually out yet. So no Demonic Toys update. So they're still on the Totem update. Let's look. Does it say how many people are playing actively here? No. Let's go into the community hub because that's always a good sign as to whether a game is doing well or not. Here's again what I'm talking about. Can't find any servers, can't host game. I can play single player just fine. Why can't I play online before someone says something? No, nothing wrong with my internet. I've been playing DVD every day lately. Well, I think it's safe to say there's nobody playing the game online, which is why they can't find anybody to play with. Anyone know if offline game mode contributes to achievements? If it does, it would make achievement unlocking much less tedious. If you mean the game is available single player options, yes, they do. Steam requires online connection to count any achievement. This is kind of not entirely true, so the person is kind of lying to the poster. You can play the single player two launch journal offline, and to play, you can play like thief mode online with a very hard bot, but you can't play the rest of the modes offline at all. So this is false. This is lying, which is not cool. If anyone still plays this game, whenever somebody says, if anyone still plays this game, that's not good. Add me and hit me up. I just found out about his existence. They always tell people to go to the Discord, but there's the same people on the Discord that are on the chat. Game won't launch. That sounds very similar to that. We need more people. Do you see a occurring trend here? Sluggish controls. I did play a bit. It is terrible to play this on controller. Can't click anything. We read that. Are there any groups for this game? Puppet bots, something that was axed. People asked, are bot puppet bots planned for offline? No answer to that. Surprise, surprise. This is Steam Charts. This is a very great website, Wolfies, if you want to know how to gauge interest as to whether a game is going to be successful. There were only four people playing hour ago, which was that Twitch stream. The maximum amount of people playing was 13. The maximum all-time peak is 249 people. The last 30 days, this game has had an average of 4.5 players and has lost 0.3% players. It, or correction, 0.3 gain, negative 0.3 gain, minus 7.10% gain. Peak players for the last 30 days, 21. That's not so bad, but you only have 249 players playing worldwide, which is not a good sign for a symmetric horror game. November, nothing. December, because the Demonic Toys aren't out yet, nothing. It's safe to assume that when the Demonic Toys update comes out, the maximum players is still going to be on average 6.3. They have had a significant amount of drop-off, and no update that they're doing is keeping players engaged. 
Maybe they should focus less on DLC that they're trying to sell, focus on some of the things that players seem to want, which would be just judging by that Steam forum that we're checking out. Looks like people want to be able to play this game offline. Doesn't seem like a very hard request, Wolfies. I don't know, Wolfies, would you, Wolfies? I'm maxing you, I'm gonna put this one on you. My little Wolfies. Would you spend $22.90 to play with cosmetic skins for a game that's online play is dead right now, Wolfies? Would you? 